everybody. I'm Sean Cummings with my wife, Kathy, here at the Gourmet Grill for Buy For Less. And today, we're making chicken pot pie. If you want to scald your mouth in a new and fresh and simple way, this is the way to do it. <laughs> All, you have to just let it go cool before you eat it. Everybody has nightmare stories about scalding themselves on chicken pot pie. Not me. <laughs> She's lying. OK, anyway, let's go ahead and get Pardon started. Me and my mother. The easiest thing to do is to use a little bit of Swanson's chicken stock. I, mm -hmm. I try to make everything a little simple, a little easy. And Kathy has a fair amount of vegetables yes. and some chicken over here. She's going to dice Very healthy up. dish. Some onions. It really is. It really it is. It looks like it's not, but it is. And I'm going to use a little bit of instant pie crust today. It's already made. Um, it's a Pillsbury product. You just, all we're going to cut around the top of it, mm -hmm. nice and simple. Make some air holes. That's the big one. OK, Kathy gets us started here. Right. We've got a little bit of chicken. We've got a little bit of potatoes. We carrots. have a little bit of carrots. A little bit of and celery. And some celery. And some zucchini. And diced zucchini and some mushrooms. And the cheese is for last, so we're not going to put that in there. And right I'm just going to put a few of these onions in here. The big thing to realize on this is let it cook for just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't go crazy because you're going to bake it off in the oven later. Now, as soon as we can get this thing hot again, we're going to make a thing called what's a, it's called a slurry in Asian food. This is water and this is cornstarch. It's really important that your water be lukewarm when you do this. And you just stir it in. It's no big deal. You'll see people doing it over walks all the time, and they actually mm -hmm. make it inside the ladle that they're cooking in. Yeah. It's, kind of, it's kind of fun. It's cool. With boiling food, if you've got the boiling water going at the time, this gets tossed in, and it tightens it up or makes it thicker. Right. And that's what turns it from chicken noodle soup to the chunky chicken, chicken soup. soup. There you go. Pretty simple. Now, we're going to have to kind of fake it a little bit and go this way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with you in a minute once this thing gets boiling and goes down, okay? Yes. Now this took about three minutes to bring mm -hmm. to a boil. The reason we had to do that is I don't want to teach you the wrong thing. Let's right. go ahead and pour this in. This is our cornstarch and water mix, and it's just going to start thickening up pretty rapidly. Right. You'll see this thing goes from water to chunky soup pretty quick. Now you notice we didn't put any pepper or any other flavorings in here. You really don't need to. This is a mom and pop dish. Right. If you want to put a little extra salt and pepper in there, it's fine but it's really not necessary. It's a comfort food. What we're looking for is a little bit of thickness, and we've got that already. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, it's kind of slowly coming off of there. Water wouldn't do that. Now, fill up your deal. Nice and simple. Yum. And then we're going to add a little bit of water. Not water, but the broth. the broth. And that's the base for your chicken pot pie. So when everybody says, my goodness, it scalded me, now you know why. <laughs> OK, pie crust goes over the top. Cut the thing around. It doesn't have to look beautiful. You just want it around like this. A Little bit of cheddar cheese on top. Everything goes into the oven at about 400 degrees until it looks like this. Pull it out and you're ready to serve. Easy. That is the scalding hot part. <laughs> but it tastes absolutely cool fabulous. A bit. Throw this up in a little salad, something mm -hmm. else, you're ready to roll. Dynamite. For these and more recipes, buyforlessok.com. Okay.